Hey, what is good everybody? Welcome back to another, I was about to say another chill video. However, this video is not a chill video. It's simply me replying or responding to one of my Vulcan videos. Somebody in the comment sections basically asked me to do a video on how to fix the VK unsupported driver error when creating an instance on a Mac platform. Now, this is a Vulcan related video, so if you're looking for a good old video, stay tuned is coming more videos are coming and i also just wanted to point out that i'll be basically creating two playlists on the channel one playlist will be strictly for godot related video and the other playlist will be strictly for vulcan related videos so that it's easy for you guys to basically find what you're looking for on my channel this channel is about software related stuff software related um, development uh, particularly in the game in game engine industry so uh, that's why i'm basically talking about godot most of the time and also the vulcan api most of the time um, essentially that's because i'm interested in game engine development i'm also learning how game engine development works and how to basically create your own game game engines and very very soon i'll be basically posting more videos about vulcan and how to do certain things in vulcan to also set up your own custom game engine in the future um so yeah do stay tuned for that but then for now it's mostly good old related stuff so that will always be the priority for this channel so do keep that in mind and do subscribe for more Godot related videos and of course Vulcan related videos. So uh, yeah, without any further ado, let's get on with this quick fix. So you want to go to the point where you basically define in your create instance function. Okay, this function can be where you're basically developing, ah, where you're basically creating your VK application info struct and your VK instance create info struct. And what you want to do is go to your instance create info struct, okay, and add in a new flag bit, which is called VK instance create enumerate portability bit KHR. Okay, so you're going to add this line of code and then you're going to go down to where you're basically getting your extensions. Now, I usually don't use GLFW, I create my own platform layer. And if you want to know how to create your own platform layer for Mac, which essentially creates a window for you, I can make a video about that. And if you really want that, I can basically make a video about that and basically code our own very own platform layer for the Mac OS platform so they can create our own Mac OS um, windows and manage them ourselves so if you're using something like glfw which is what most people use they will say something like this glfw get extension names or something like that and that will give you the extension count and the extensions and basically just fill out your extensions um, array with those extensions that are needed for that specific platform in this case it will usually give you these two which is vk khr surface extension name and vk extension metal surface all right now once it gives you these you want to append an extra extension so instead of having two here you have three as your extension count and then onto the array you're going to append or add another extension to that array called vk khr portability enumeration extension name now this is required since um, vulcan added the update to version 1.3 of the api so it's very much required on mac os i don't know about windows but i'm a mac os guy so this bit of line of code is required when creating your instance creation otherwise you will get an error message like you've been getting all this time all along okay so to basically prove that this basically works here we go we finally have a vulcan instance created successfully message displayed down below and to also just prove a point here that it actually does work so i'm gonna comment the solution that i gave you here and show you that it won't work this time around and we will get that error called vk error incompatible driver and ladies and gentlemen that is essentially the fix just add these two lines of code and you're basically done <laughs> that is literally just how easy it is and make and run your program oh sorry i didn't save so let's just save I don't know what I did. <laughs> yeah, let's just save and then let's clear and then let's make and boom, successfully created. Done. So if you guys enjoyed this video, do hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you guys on the next video. Hopefully it will be a Godot related one as usual. So stay blessed, stay cheers and I'll see you guys on the next. I don't know what I just said. It's literally 0055 in the morning. I'm really tired. 
but yeah i promised a video and here it is and i hopefully that answered your question and i'll see you guys on the next one cheers